The proposals represent, in effect, a back-to-basics approach to fighting crime. Law enforcement officials have complained that legislation and court decisions over the past two decades have tied their hands, and they're applauding the task force recommendations. Among them, denying bail to suspects in serious crimes who have committed crimes while out on bail before. Changing the exclusionary rule, which prohibits the use of evidence obtained illegally. The proposal would allow use of such evidence in court if the officer thought he was acting within the law. A waiting period to buy any gun not for sporting use and providing billions of dollars to states to build more jails. Some of the committee's findings agree with what I've been saying on the local level for some time. And that is we need some help with this exclusionary rule. We're turning people uh, loose that should be found guilty because we cannot get the evidence in court because of the police slipping up on some procedural matter that really doesn't matter that much. I think the bottom line of the whole report is that we need more prison space. The task force proposals weren't meant to attack the root cause of crime, only to protect the citizen. But at what point does that protection become a threat to constitutional rights? I think it's been a, a danger for years now. We, we've had a crime problem for many years now in this country, and all of us are concerned about it and worried about it. And there's been a pressure to try to surrender uh, basic constitutional pr uh, protections as uh, some measure, some way of dealing with the crime problem. The problem with these proposals is they won't solve the crime problem, I don't think. And, um, and uh, secondly, they, they mean that uh, innocent people uh, may suffer by uh, abuse from government officials. But somewhere we have to draw a line to delineate the rights from those criminals that are committing atrocities on the other citizens. They cannot live with the other citizens peacefully and without molesting them in some way. And we need to draw that line and draw one where we know where we are. The federal task force has taken the first step in drawing that line, but it won't end there. If adopted, some of the elements of the new get tough approach to crime could eventually wind up in the Supreme Court. John McKnight, Action News.